Sharing with you my most favorite cruelty-free, natural, long-lasting cosmetic products. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am Canna Campbell. About a month ago, I made a special minimalism makeup video. I shared with you my top five favorite products that are, can be used and applied in a variety of different ways so that you don't need to go and buy a whole wide range of makeup products. You can just use these key products in different ways to create different looks. And because of that, obviously you're reducing your wastage, you're reducing your consumption and therefore saving lots of money. Anyway, you guys love this video so much and you gave me some great product suggestions to try, which I've been testing out. And also the Daily Mail even picked up this video, which is really funny because they pick up my financial videos all the time, but they never use my lifestyle content. So thank you so much for the Daily Mail. Anyway, you guys love this video. You had some great tips because whilst I'm not vegan, I really believe in leaning in, reducing your consumption where possible, reducing your impact on the environment where possible, landfill. And of course, like leaning into a more conscious, more responsible, more respectful life. So in today's video, I really want to focus on cruelty-free products, cruelty-free products that I've discovered that I'm really loving and where possible, I've tried to include some vegan products as well. All right. These products also are really natural. They're long lasting because that's really important to me because I'm a busy person. I'm a busy mum. I do not have time during the day to go and powder my nose and touch up my makeup. What goes on in the morning is going to last all day long. So hopefully you will find this video really helpful. All right, first up is my primer. Having a primer definitely does make a big difference in making sure that my skin stays looking beautiful and luscious for as long as possible. Another important point I want to make, if you take good care of your skin by using the right type of products that's right for your skin type, you know, properly diagnosed, it does actually save you money in the long run because you're going to have to spend less money on treatments, on medication, seeing specialists. So investing in your skincare and your cosmetics, I think is a worthwhile investment. Anyway, today I am using the Velvet Concepts Prime Light Primer. This is so pretty. It's an Australian based company, which is I think really not lovely to support an Australian business in this economic environment. But as you can see here, it is a beautiful light pink. And I have to say on the weekends, sometimes I just wear this as it is. It's really light and it's really glowy. And I love that it has like a pinky peachy undertone to it. All right, so I'm just using my fingers, but I'm actually using my fingers lightly. I'm not like, I know it might look like I'm being quite heavy handed and rough, but I'm not. And the reason why is because someone made a comment, I could be creating damage and fine lines by being too rough in my application of makeup. All right. Next up, I'm actually going to use the Velvet Concepts Summer Skin Foundation. This is so long lasting. I actually was in some commercial content that was filmed about a month or two ago, and the makeup artist used this on me, and it was amazing. We did not need to touch it up at all for the whole day, and we did, I think we filmed for about 10 hours. It is a really beautifully, like a beautiful velvet kind of product. I'm gonna put, and you definitely don't need as much as what I've just put on my wrist here and the person that made the comment about recommending using a brush or sponges to help reduce the damage to my skin thank you so much it's such a valuable point also i want to point out that i'm using real techniques makeup brushes and sponges these are cruelty free they're vegan and they're really budget friendly you can pick them up from priceline especially when priceline have one of their amazing sales i highly recommend getting a range of their tools because they really do make a big difference with the application and they last a really long time like some of the real technique makeup brushes i've got i reckon must be like nine or ten years old all right so this is the velvet concepts foundation as you can see it is looking like a beautiful soft even coverage it does have like a velvety look to it and I, it is long lasting which is really important to me they do have a concealer it's a round um, concealer it's compact and that's perfect if I was at a special event and I was going to be out all day and I wanted to say touch up a little bit around my nose when I get redness or under my eyes, I can do that, but I'm not going to be using that product today. All right, so my lips are looking a little bit dead. So whilst I'm doing the rest of my face, I'm going to put some of this Lano Lips um, 101 ointment just to give my lips a little bit of hydration. I use this in my other video. I really love it. 
Lano Lips is another great product you can get from Priceline. Again, it's cruelty free. It's really budget friendly and it's a really like natural looking product. Next up, as I said, my eyes. Now I'm really bad at applying eyeshadow. I'm really impatient when it comes to blending. So on a normal day, I wouldn't really worry about too much eyeshadow. I would only really ever use one or two colors maximum. But today it's a special day because I'm making a special cruelty free long lasting makeup look for you. And I'm going to be using the Hourglass um, Myth color palette. Now I think this is one of the prettiest, most practical investments you can make if you like eyeshadow palettes because they're all really natural products. They don't take long to blend, um, for it's just particularly important for a novice like me. And they're just natural products. And look, eyeshadow palettes, yes, they do cost a bit of money, but they last forever. They last a really long time. And if you take good care of your makeup products, you don't throw them around in your handbag, you store them correctly so that no excess product like blows off. They'll last a really long time. So as I said, when it comes to skincare products, yes, there are some budget things that I'm really happy to stick to, but there are times where I'm happy to splurge out and invest. All right, I'm going to stop for a second and do my eyeshadow in the mirror because I'm really bad at doing it. Oh, but I am using my Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. All right, so, so far I have just covered the eyelid with this color here and I'm about to go and blend and create some definition with this color here. Using my other Real Techniques makeup brush. Now, obviously I am a novice at this, so if you have any suggestions for blending, please let me know. But Chloe Murillo told me myself I need to invest more of my time blending. It's something that I really let myself down to when it comes to applying my makeup. So I'm just gonna blend, so just excuse me for a second. I'm even blending where I stuffed up with the foundation. The difficulty of putting makeup on in front of a camera instead of a mirror I wouldn't normally be this bad. And so now I'm just grabbing a little bit of the darkest product on this eyeshadow palette just to give a little bit more definition. I'm also going to put a really soft, gentle amount slightly under my lower eyelash line. Ta-da! All right, next up, bronzer. I'm gonna come back to the Velvet Concepts bronzer. This is the best bronzer I have found for fair pale skin. This is absolutely beautiful and again for days like on the weekends where I don't want to wear any foundation, I want to keep my makeup really natural, I can just wear this alone or I will wear this with their primer. Really natural products, Australian as well which is really important for me. Now this does come in a darker shade as well but which I think it's called Bondi so this one's Byron. And again, cruelty free and long lasting. I'm not picking up, I know it looks like it, but I'm not picking up too much product on this brush, even though it does look like it. Blending, Chloe, you'll be really proud of me. I'm blending, lots of blending. All right, I am on my way. All right, next up is the Hourglass Blush. Again, another cruelty-free friendly product. It's not vegan, but Hourglass has announced that they are working towards being 100% vegan. And I'm all about really supporting businesses that are making a conscious, proactive, responsible, and respectful approach to being more environmentally conscious towards the planet, towards animals to landfill absolutely everything. So it's a journey and I will disclose that I am not vegan. However, I'm always doing as much as I can to try and reduce my consumption, my impact. However, there are some products that I use, which you guys know, that are not cruelty free friendly or vegan. But just letting you know, because it's important for me to be honest with you guys all, at all times. It looks like this. And of course, all the products are gonna be linked in the video description box below for you. All right, how's that looking? All right, next up, I'm really proud to share with you guys your tips on a cruelty-free, friendly, vegan mascara was really helpful. You guys repeatedly recommended the Eve Perez mascara and also the Essence mascara. Now, the Essence mascara that you recommended, I think was the princess one. Whenever I went into the store to buy it, it was always sold out. So I didn't get to try it. However, I tried the fake lashes one and it was amazing. 
And then you guys went nuts in recommending this Eva Perez one. And I'm really excited to share with you, this is what I'm gonna use right now. And this has an almond base. Now they also do a waterproof version, which is great for summertime if you're doing lots of swimming. And it is avocado based, but this one is the, the almond one. So just like an everyday mascara. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put the mascara on using the mirror. So again, excuse me for a second. How about that? Really natural, not clumpy. The brush is actually really nice. It's nice and thick and bristled, so it really gets in there and spreads it evenly to each individual lash. I am loving this. Thank you so much for this tip. All right, next up is Hourglass. I know I look like I've got a massive bias towards Velvet Concepts and Hourglass, but these are the products I really like and they really do last a long time and look really natural. And most importantly, they're quick and easy to apply. So excuse me for a second while I go and do my eyebrows. Now I put castor oil on my eyebrows. I have naturally really long, thick eyebrows. They're, they're quite sparse in between each other. So I have lots of gaps I've got to fill in. But again, using castor oil is a really natural, really budget friendly product. You just put a little bit on your eyebrows at nighttime and it makes a huge difference to the point where I'll wake up in the morning, I'll have this like couple like really long random eyebrows, which I have to go and trim in the morning. So I highly, highly recommend that tip. Next up is a highlighter. I'm going to use the Velvet Concepts Glow Dome in Peace. I'm going to put it on my Cupid's bow. I'm going to put it a little bit under here, up here, up here, and down here. All right. I will use my fingers now for this one. So natural and so pretty. And then finally, I'm going to use my absolute favorite, favorite lipstick of all time is the Chantecaille Daphne. Now this is an expensive lipstick. I am super protective of this because I don't want to lose it. I don't want it to accidentally roll out of my handbag. This is again, a really natural, glossy lipstick. I'm often applying my makeup in a hurry. So it's one that can literally go on um, I can take it in my handbag and reapply it. I don't need to worry too much about like getting it in the right spots because it's a natural, like smooth product to apply. I'm applying a lot more because I've still got my Lano lips on. All right, almost there. And just I'm gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow, which I bought from Mecca. And this is just gonna, I don't even need much product at all. This is the thing that you, when you buy products that are really good, you don't need to use too much product and they last a really long time and will save you money in the long run. So literally I've got a teeniest, tiniest amount. So I'm literally gonna just blot it over my face to help it last all day long. All right. Brush my hair. And ta-da, I am good to roll for the day. Now, obviously I did this in front of a camera. I would normally do this probably within about five to seven minutes because I wouldn't be talking as much. So this is a really natural, cruelty-free, like long-lasting look. This will get me going all day long and I will not need to touch it up during the day. So I really hope that you have liked hearing about different products that I've been trying products that you guys have recommended to me that are cruelty free, long lasting, natural and reasonably priced. If you have any other product selections, please let me know. And of course, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. That notification bell is switched on and you are following me on Instagram at SugarMamaTV and my normal account at Canna Sass. And also on the Canna Sass account, I'm sharing with you other products that I'm testing and trying at the moment and really love. All right, everyone, have a fantastic week. I will see you next Thursday. Ciao for now.